Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number eight from the October 2022 Mechanics M1 exam. This question is all about vectors. And they tell us in this question that in this question, I and J are horizontal unit vectors directed due east and due north. Okay, so I is east and J is considered north. Um, respectively and position vectors are given relative to the fixed origin O. So whenever they say the position vector of something they mean from O to that point, as we should know. Anyway, it says two ships A and B are moving with constant velocities. The velocity of A is 3i plus 12j kilometers per hour and the velocity of B is pi plus qj kilometers per hour. We got to first of all find the speed of A. Okay, we know that the speed of an object is the magnitude of its velocity. So the speed of A would be the magnitude of the velocity of A. And the velocity of A is given by the vector 3i plus 12j, which I, I can I like to write in this form. It doesn't really matter anyway for this part of the question. But 312, that's 3i plus 12j. And the magnitude of a vector is given by the square root of the components added together. Square of the components added together, like using Pythagoras' theorem. That's 3 squared plus 12 squared, and that will give you the answer. So you have the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, plus 12 squared, which is 144. And that gives us 3 times root 17. Okay, and therefore the speed of A is equal to, which is round it to its uh, right to 3SF, that's 12.2 four kilometers per hour so 12.4 kilometers per hour that's the answer to part a okay so the speed is the magnitude of the velocity all right now for part b it says the ships are modeled as particles at 12 noon a is at the point with position vector minus 9i plus 6j kilometers and b is at the point with position vector 16i plus 6j kilometers at time t hours after 12 noon, the vector from A to B is given by this expression here. 25 minus 12t, i plus minus 90j. That's a vector from A to B, which I can write it as a column vector. That's 25 minus 12t, and this is minus 9t. That's the vector i and j components. All right, so that's as a column vector, A to B. Now, we've got to find the values of P and Q, all right, which are the, um, that those are the, the components of the velocity of B, okay, the components of the velocity of B. So, what we, what we know is that the position vector of a point, of an object, okay, which is moving like this ship, at a constant velocity, is equal to its initial position plus its velocity vector times the time. All right, so let's look at A. What do we have for A? We have R0 is equal to its initial position, which is minus 9 and 6, minus 9i plus 6j. And we have its velocity vector, which we are told in the first part of the question, which was 312. 312. So what we can say is that for A, the position vector for A, which is basically the vector from O to A, can think of it as that is equal to r0 which is minus 9 6 plus t times the velocity which is 3 12 which we can write in in like in the form like the i and j form as one vector as minus 9 plus 3 t and that will be 6 plus 12 t okay so that's the that's a vector from o to a now for B, what do we have? We have R0 is equal to 16i plus 6j. So 16, 16. That's its initial position. Its velocity vector is PQ. That's what we have to find, what P and Q are. So P is the I component and Q is the J component. And therefore the position vector of B, which we will write, we can think of it as O to B, is equal to, we're going to have its position vector 16, 6, plus the time plus the time times its velocity vector pq so you end up with your vector 16 plus p times t and 6 plus q 
q times t. All right, so that's the vector from O to B. Now, we're told the vector from A to B. So we have, in terms of P and Q, we can work out what the vector A to B is. So A to B is equal to, now if you think about it, if this is the origin, and this is A, for example, and this is B, this is the vector from O to A, and this is the vector from O to B. We know the vector from A to B, which is from here to here. How do I get from A to B? I've got to go minus OA plus OB, which is the same as OB minus OA. So A to B is like O to B minus O to A. Minus OA plus OB. All right, so we know O to B is this vector here, which is 16 plus PT and 6 plus QT. And we know the vector from O to A is minus 9 plus 3t and 6 plus 12t okay and that's going to give us i'll just move this along out of the way a bit okay that's going to give us the vector i have 16 minus minus 9 which is 25 i have pt minus 3t which is p minus 3t Okay, that's pt minus 3t, p minus 3t, pt minus 3t. Then I've got 6 minus 6, which is 0. And I have qt minus 12t. So that's going to be q minus 12t. So there is my vector a to b. So now I know my vector a to b is given by this expression, which we just found, which is 25 plus p minus 3 times t and q minus 12 times t. I also know the vector a to b as they gave us, it's actual, the actual vector a to b is 25 minus 12t, 25 minus 12t, and it's uh, minus 9t. That's what we were given. So therefore, if I compare them, if I compare the two vectors, I can see that the p minus 3 I have 25, I have 25, I have P minus 3 times T, and that's like minus 12 T. So I can say that from here, I can say P minus 3 must be the same as negative 12, right? And if I compare the J components, I can see I have Q minus 12 T and I have minus 90. So I can say from here also that uh, Q minus 12 must be the same as minus 9. So if I now find the value of P, I have to add 3 to both sides. That gives me minus 9. And for Q, I have to add 12 to both sides. I have minus 9 plus 12. Minus 9 plus 12, which is going to be positive 3. So there's a value of P, and there's a value of Q. And that's the answer to this question. Right? So um, basically, you had to find the vector A to B in terms of what they gave us, looking at the, you know, the... The position vector and the velocity vector they gave us in terms of p and q and basically equate it to the the vector that they that they actually gave us for a to b all right and then compare them there they must be the same this must be the same as that so you can see everything's the same so p minus 3 must be the same as minus 12 and here q minus 12 must be minus 9 and that's the answer to part b seven marks quite a few marks on that question and that concludes part b of this question now for part c now, for part C, it says, um, find the bearing of A from B when the ships are 15 kilometers apart, giving your answer to the nearest degree. So, the bearing of A from B. So, basically, um, I need to know what the vector from A to B is to find the bearing of A to A, you know, bearing of A from B. I need to know what this vector is, the actual vector. So, I need to find the time. If I know the time when they are 15 kilometers apart from each other, I can then know the actual vector of a to b when they're 15 kilometers apart. So if I find the magnitude of the vector a to b, okay, that has to be equal to 15. I want to find, okay, the value of t when this is, when, you know, the value of t when a to b is 15. Okay, so we're finding t when a to b is equal to 15, the magnitude of a to b. So the magnitude of a to b is given by the component squared Okay, um, so I have plus, and that's going to be minus 90, which will give you just the same as 90 all squared. 
and square rooted equals 15. Now, I don't have to put the square root because I'm going to end up, you know, having something that looks complicated. So I'll just write equals 15 squared. Okay, the square of the two shorter sides equals the square of the hypotenuse. This is like the hypotenuse of this vector, right? So now I can try to solve this equation for t. So I have 25 squared, which is, um, I think that's 625. 25 squared. Yep. So I have 625 minus, now 25 times 12 and then doubled. So 25 times 12 times 2. That gives me 600, so that's minus 600t, plus that's going to be 81t squared equals 15 squared, I think that's 225, 15 squared, yeah, 225. So I, I see I have a quadratic I have here. Um, ah, I forgot something. What did I forget? Silly me. I forgot to square this. Minus 12, which is going to give you 144t squared. Then you have your plus 181t squared, and you have your 225. Okay, I forgot this um, square of this term. You square the first term, you multiply these together, and double it, and then you square the last term, which I forgot to do. 12 is 12 squared is 144, that's 144t squared. Okay, now I can add together these two. That's 144 plus 81. That gives me 225. So I have 225t squared um, minus 600t. And I'm bringing everything to one side because it's a quadratic equation. 625 minus 225, that's going to be 400. Plus 400 equals 0. It looks like 25 will probably go into all of these. Let's see what that gives us. So I have 625 divided by 25. That gives me 25. So that's 25t squared minus. Then I'm going to have... Uh, sorry, it's not 625. It's... 225. That gives me 9. That's 9t squared. Okay, you have 9t squared minus, then you've got 600 divided by 25. Whoops. That gives us 24, so that's 24t plus, and you have 400 divided by 25, which gives you 16 equals zero. So now we can factorize this. Um, will it factorize? Well, we could use a quadratic formula if you want to, but I, I'm looking at something here that might help us factorize it very quickly, because I see this is a perfect square. Okay, this is a perfect square, and this is a perfect square. So let's see if this is a perfect square trinomial. If it is, then it, you would have this, the square root of this here, there's a minus, and I'll put minus, and then the square root of that will be there. And this would be squared. Now, if this is true, if it, if this is true, then when I multiply these together and double it, I have to get minus 24t, which I do. Minus 12t doubled is minus 24t. So I, I can see for sure it's a perfect square. So it's very easy to factorize it. Very easy to factorize it like that. If they did not, if you, whenever you spot a perfect square on the first term and the last term, um, then you can write it as a square bracket, as I've done and put the square root of each of those in there. And you test it by multiplying them together and doubling them. So minus 12t doubled minus 24t, then you're sure it's correct. If it doesn't give you that, then it's not a perfect square and you've got to start factorizing or use a formula. So at first sight, I thought we've got to use a formula because it's a bit complicated, the numbers. But I saw that these are square terms. So then I decided, okay, let's try to use um, the perfect square uh, trinomial and see if it factorizes that, and it does. So now it becomes really easy. Take the square root of both sides, so 3t minus 4 equals the square root of 0, which is 0. So that means t is equal to 4 over 3 hours. Okay, now, that means I can find now the vector a to b. So we can say at t equals 4 over 3 hours, the vector from a to b is going to be equal to now we know this is a vector from a to b, so let me just bring this down here so we can it's going to be 25 minus 12 t, so 25 minus 12 times 4 over 3, and you got not minus 9 times 4 over 3, which gives you 25 minus, or well, the 3 cancels with the 12 give you 4, 25 minus 16, which is 9, and minus 9, that cancels with there, so you have minus 3 times 4, which is 
minus 12. So the vector from A to B, so that's not the magnitude. The vector A to B is equal to that, right? Okay, so we know that the vector from A to B is equal to 9 minus 12 when t equals 4 over 3 hours, which is when they are 15 kilometers apart. So we want to find the bearing of A from B. Okay, A from B. So if you go from A, if you do, if you got this vector A to B, say this is A, and you want to go to B, you got to go 9 minus 12. So you've got to go 9 across and 12 down. So say it's over here. Say B is over here. Okay, this is the vector from A to B. This is the vector from A to B. Okay, going this way. All right, that's the vector from A to B. All right, now we're asked to find, and this is 9 and minus 12. So let me just, that's 9 and that's negative 12. Okay, 9, negative 12. All right, so that's 9 across and 12 down. Now, we have to find the bearing of A from B. So we need to draw the north line at B because we have to go in this opposite direction. What we have to go is the bearing of A from B. So from B, we draw the north line at B. Okay, and we see what direction do we have to go, or what direction do you, um, what what uh, direction are we going to be in when we're facing A that direction? But how do we get there? We have to go from the north line clockwise until we're facing A. So that's the angle we need to find. We need this angle over here to find the bearing of A from B. When it says from B, you start at B, head towards A. So we're looking at the direction of A from B. So now, if I find this angle over here, which I'm going to call theta. I can find the bearing, okay, because it's 360 minus theta. And I know that this is a right angle because I and J are, you know, east and, uh, east and north. So I know that this, this is a, a right angle. So I can say the tangent of theta is equal to 9 over 12. So therefore, theta is equal to the inverse tan of 9 over 12. Okay, so you have inverse tan of 9 over 12. So that gives us 36.869, 36.869 goes on. So therefore the bearing of A from B is equal to 360 minus the answer. So I'll take my answer and I'll do 360 minus that and it gives me 323.130, 323. 323.130. 0 .130. The question says round it to the nearest degree. So that's equal to 323 degrees, three figure bearing. And there is the answer to part C. Seven marks. Okay. Not too difficult. All right. And that concludes this question and it concludes the whole of this paper. This is Mechanics M1, October 2022, International A level paper from Edexcel. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from the topic of vectors from M1 in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch this video to see how you can use my channel to benefit from, um, you know, revision, how to revise using the channel in an efficient way by looking at the video that will show that part of the, the screen at the end. Thank you for watching and see you soon.